Time Champ Detailed UI Walkthrough. First, starting with Interactive Agent of Time Champ. When a user login into their system, the Time Champ agent will start automatically and tracks the user activities. We can see here the tracker has started displaying the working hours. Here it shows user's name Welcome Kyle. And we have worked for, displays the user's working time. And idle for, idle time is considered, when there is no interaction from user on the desktop. Started at, it displays the login time when the user started working. Pause button, which indicates the user is currently working. If we click on pause button, we need to select the reason for keeping break, it might launch break or tea break or other, if you select others need to add the reason in below box and then just click on take break. Now the status changed to on break, here we can choose the break reminders for 15 minutes, and for 30 minutes, and for 60 minutes and, this finish button is used stop the tracker for the day. Here, if we click on play button, which means resume option, the break status will change into working status. Next, here have time. It shows the activity status of the user, whether the user is working, user is not working, user is on the break, or user is ideal, along with the respective time durations. Next apps, here we can see user activity of all websites and applications along with time duration spent on it. By clicking the arrow, we can also view the detailed activity of it. Next, we have events, which shows the overall behavior of the tracker. Hours, here, we have tracking hours, working hours and late allowance options related to users, this can be set by the manager in admin portal. Next, activity, here, it shows all the user activity of applications and websites visited during his working hours. And next we have more. We have break remainder option is used to set the break remainder time accordingly. We have my dashboard. By clicking on this the user will be redirected to their dashboard and can view their profile. Go to edit time. This option is used for the time claims. Logout. Here, user can log out and relog in with their credentials. Let's click on log out. Here, we have the login screen. Just enter the user email ID and password and then click on login button. Exit. On clicking exit button pop-up disappears and to regain pop-up, run the setup file again. Let us discuss the time champ, employee productivity software in detail. Here, we have popular use cases such as attendance, productivity, monitor, and activity. First, we'll start with attendance. After installing the time champ agent, attendance will be calculated automatically. Here is the team level UI. We have an organization hierarchy on the left side tab, which includes all users and teams information. If we hover on Kyle Shelton is in green color it represents active status and can view the user live activity. If we hover on Lisa is in red color it represents the user is offline. Melissa John is in blue color it represents the user is on leave. Ken Gross is in yellow color it represents the user is in idle. We can see here list of all users. They're in time, they're out time, working hours, productive hours, idle hours. And here is the behavior pattern of all users. Let's click on Kyle Shelton user, we can see full behavior pattern throughout the day. During the day, it tracks productive apps, non-productive apps, neutral apps, idle time, events, and screenshots. And while coming to this screen represents the present day attendance, you can also view weekly wise, and monthly wise or can choose any custom date range. You can also get the attendance report by using the download button. Just click on export. And enter the export file name, then select the required file format you need then select any additional columns you need, then click on export button. You can see .xlsx file downloaded at the bottom, just click on the file to open. Here you can check all the employee attendance details for HR payroll. Next, we have the productivity. You can configure the applications and websites to be productive or non-productive based on your company requirements. 
Let's start with the user level productivity screen. Here, we can examine the user's total working time and the expected time. Then there's the overall productive time and the estimated time needed. We also have non-productive time, an overall neutral time, overall away time of the user. Here is a time bar that reflects the user's overall behavioral trend. We have productive activity insights in pie chart representation as well as a breakdown of productivity with computation of working hours that are less or more than the user's expected hours. The green up arrow sign indicates that productivity is greater than expected. The red down arrow sign indicates that productivity is lower than expected. And productive apps provide information about the usage and duration of time. And non-productive apps information about the usage and duration of time. We also have neutral application usage and time. There is a productivity bar that indicates the user's productivity levels based on their activities throughout the day. Following that is category activity and breakdown, which is utilized to obtain productivity insights from categorized level applications and websites. Here, we can assess the user's productivity on a daily, weekly, monthly, or custom date range basis. Let's to click on this date menu where we can view the required data of yesterday, the last seven days, the last week, the last two weeks. So here, we will select the last week and click on apply, and you will be able to see the user's weekly insights of productiveness. By clicking these arrows, we can see Saturday and Sunday in the productive breakdown. We also included a lifetime heat maps option when clicked, it shows the lifetime heat maps of the user like overall working hours, productive hours, and away hours. When switching to the Good Grace team level here, we can see the overall working time, productive time, non-productive time, neutral time, and away time are displayed. Here if you click on non-productive time, it will show your team has spent unproductively throughout the week all applications and websites. We can see here the YouTube has spent up to 5 hours 43 minutes by your team and, by clicking on YouTube you will get the detailed activity what they have visited, so with this you will get to know what's going in the team. And if you click on productive time, you can see the all the productive apps and websites used by your team during the week. If we go to the bottom, we can find who are most productive employees, who are least productive employees and who are most idle time employees in the team. And here we can see total productivity levels of team members throughout the day in a bar representation that displays in green is productive and red is non-productive, gray is neutral and yellow is in idle. When we look at the week, the view will look like this, arranged by individual day. Here if we check on a monthly basis, it represents the overall productivity levels by each and every week format. Next, we have monitor. You can monitor employees work daily through taking, periodic screenshots, live screenshots, live streaming and live video recording. Here, we will begin with organization hierarchy. In this organization, we can see department-wise users live screens. If we click on the IT services, we can view live screens of all the teams, like Good Grace team, Fresh Move team and Liquid Sky team. If we click on Good Grace team, here we can view live screens of all users in a team. Here we can see that Time Champ tracks all the user screens who is working, who is on leave, who are on break and who are in offline. Let's click on any one of the screens, Lisa Lucas, here you can view the real-time live activity what the user is doing right now. And we can record the live video by using the start and stop recording button. And next, if we hover on any live screen, a star icon is visible clicking on star icon, the user screen will be added to favorites tab. By clicking on favorite, we can view all the user screens selected as favorite. Next, if we click on the Kyle Shelton user, we can view all the components of monitor. On top, we have the intensity graph which represents the total count of the user's mouse clicks and keystrokes during the day. Hereby for individual graph of mouse clicks and keystrokes you can choose by clicking the names. And there is a bar icon, able to view keystrokes and mouse clicks in bar representation. Here there is no progress in the middle, indicating that the user has not used the mouse or keyboard. 
We can hide or unhide this graph component by clicking on this eye symbol. Here, we can view the user's desktop screenshots which are periodically captured during the working hours. Here, in screen recordings, we can see the recorded screens of the user during the working hours. Let's click on the any video. Here you can view recorded video of the user's activity at a particular time. You can change the perspective from tiny to small, small to medium, medium to large, or large to tiny depending on your visibility. And next, we have three icons here, live screenshot, live streaming, and system information. If you require a live screenshot of the user, simply click the take live screenshot icon. By clicking on the live streaming icon to view the user's live screen then you will be able to see what the user is doing on their desktop in real time. Next we have system configurations. Here we can view the user's desktop configuration CPU processor usage, virtual memory usage, usage of disk space, upload speed and download speed of internet and it shows the location of the desktop. And we have processes tab, which shows all the applications are currently running on user desktop. After that, we have activity, where we can see all of the team activity of websites as well as the duration of time spent on them. By clicking on any website, we can view the detailed activity of that website. Then we have applications used. We can view all activity of applications that are visited and as well as the duration of time spent on those. By clicking on any application, we can view the detailed activity on which the users are working. Next, categories. Here we had some categories like education and others. In this education the applications and websites which are related to study will be shown in education category, by clicking on this we can able to see the detailed activity. Based on the business process, the administrator can add more categories such as communication, development, entertainment, and recruitment. Next, we have activity, where we can see the entire activity log of every user in the team, including the desktop name, application or website name, and duration of time spent on those. You can download the activity log in PDF format by clicking the download button. We hope TimeChamp will help you to increase your business productivity. We are your best choice. Book demo now and get 7 days free trial.